Hey guys, how's everybody doing today? It is uh, Friday, December the 22nd, and uh, I posted up two videos yesterday. One of them was uh, more of like a funny story, and the other one was uh, speaking on ascites and, um, you know, what, what happened with that and what I noticed uh, leading up to getting the ascites and, you know, how I dealt with it. And that video actually... Uh, is getting a lot of views so um seems like there's a lot of people out there who either know someone or are dealing with the societies themselves and uh if that's you um once again i really apologize that you're going through that uh it's it's just not fun to deal with um today i wanted to bring up a topic uh that um this one is probably going to be a little bit controversial just because uh, the nature of what I'm going to speak about. Um, this is something for everyone to watch, but you know, the, there's going to be a lot of spouses and loved ones out there who know an alcoholic um, that uh, this could this could help, um, and I don't know. I don't know. I've thought a lot about this one, and uh, but I think it's needed. Um, you know, if you've got somebody in your life that um, that claims to not be drinking anymore, and you think that they might be, uh, you know, this is one of those videos for you to watch. Um, you know, if you're a parent and you have a child and you think they might be drinking, or like I said, you have a husband or a wife and they're drinking, you think or you suspect them of drinking, maybe they've been a uh, uh, drinker and they they claim to have stopped drinking um, you know and you suspect that they probably still are this is a video for that and this is just from my experience uh, speaking with friends of mine that are uh, currently uh, alcoholics that are you know in sobriety or people that still drink I just had a lot of conversations with people about this topic right here and um what what I want to talk about today is uh, what what links that alcoholics will go through to hide their booze and to hide their usage from everyone. Um, I know that in the past I was very guilty of doing this because you know my wife didn't like the fact that I drank and uh, especially liquor. Um, you know, like I've said in the past, I uh, I I drank a you know, my wife didn't really mind if I drank beer, but the liquor was out of the question. So, um, I went to, uh, pretty, pretty far lengths to, uh, keep her from knowing what I was doing. And, um, uh, I thought this would be a good one to share, you know, um, it might upset some people that I'm talking about this and I'm sorry if that's you, but, uh, you know, I think that, um, this is just one of those videos that's needed to be made. So, um, I guess I'll start out with the most, um, the biggest one that I know of that, uh, I think that if you've gotten to the point where you're a full blown alcoholic, like I was, I think one of the biggest things that, that we use as alcoholics, um, to hide our alcohol usage, especially in public, um, is this right here. Uh, this one right here, um, and I've taken the label off just so I don't have any copyright issues or anything, but um, the the water bottle. <clears throat> and of course, you'll need a clear liquor to put in here. Um, but I know a lot of people do it. I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube of others, you know, talking about the water bottle and showing them pouring stuff out of water bottles. And uh, I know I did it all the time. Um, you know, when you're taking the time out of your day and pouring liquor out of the bottle into a water bottle like this, then you probably have a problem. I mean, if you're going to that far of a length uh, to hide your usage, uh, you might really need to take a hard look at yourself and what you got going on. Because um, if, if you're doing that, uh, you, you're most likely an alcoholic. I mean, you, you, you probably really are. Um, and I used a water bottle all the time. I would fill this thing up all the way with liquor and, you know, carry it around with me all day long. Uh, you know, I wouldn't particularly drink out of this all the time. You know, I would pour it into a cup and maybe mix it with a little something else. But there were times I did, I, I chugged right out of this. Uh, I would take shots out of it. Um, 
So I just have a list of some things, you know, where places where I used to hide liquor at and uh, just kind of wanted to go over those. Um, I have gone to the length of actually taking the trash bag out of the trash can and putting the liquor bottle all the way at the bottom and then putting the trash bag back on top of it. Um, I had liquor hiding in my car all the time. There was always liquor in the car. Uh, you know, that's a place where we always uh, tend to hide our alcohol, um, especially in the trunk, underneath the seat. Um, I've even gone to the length of actually even hiding under the hood before so they wouldn't be found. Um, I've taken liquor bottles and hidden them in the back of a toilet before, in the back part where you lift it up and the water's in there. I've hidden liquor in there. Um, I've actually hidden liquor bottles underneath my house in the crawl space before. Uh, and my wife actually found those. My wife was a uh, very diligent uh, inspector when it comes to finding things. She she pretty much found every every bottle I ever hid. Um, and she did a really good job of finding them. I was really blown away sometimes that she could find some of this stuff. Um, I would take bottles and hide them out in the woods. Uh, you know, get some pine straw and kick it up over behind a tree where I could find it. And my wife's even found those before. Um, I've hidden liquor in the shed. Uh, I have a shed with all my tools and stuff like that in there. I've hidden bottles in there before. Um, I've hidden bottles in the AC vents. Uh, you know, you just lift a vent right up and you can slide a bottle right in there. And... Uh, it's pretty easy to, to, to get it down in there and get it right back out. And this you can't see it. Um, I've hidden liquor underneath of the bed before and that was found. Um, I've hidden liquor in the closet, mixed up in my clothes. Uh, I've, you know, jacket pockets. Uh, you know, your jacket's hanging up in the closet. And on the inside, a lot of times, I'll have like an inside pocket in there. I've hidden liquor bottles in those before. Um, couch cushions. Uh, you know, up under, lifting the cushion up and hiding in there. I've actually, uh, one of the places I used to hide my liquor at all the time was in the back of the couch cushion. I could just stick my arm down in there and just pull it right back up. And uh, it was actually a really easy place for me to get ex access to it, especially, you know, like if you know, we were in the kitchen or something, I could go into the living room real quick, grab that bottle out and go into the bathroom, take a swig and then slide it back in there when I walked back in. Um, I've talked about this before, but I used to take mini bottles and I would hide them on my socks and in my shoes. Uh, you know, I'd come in with a six pack of beer and then in my socks, I'd have, you know, six mini bottles and, you know, I would, you know, go to the bathroom and, uh, you know, when you're drinking, you, you urinate a lot. So I would, you know, use the restroom, and then while I was in there, I would take that bottle, take a swig, and then put it back in my sock. And like I've said before, I I would take those mini bottles and wash them out so I didn't have to keep buying them because they're rather expensive. You know, they're like $1.50, $2 a piece, and I would just take those little bottles, wash them out, and then I had a funnel that fit right in the top of those mini bottles, and I could fill them right back up. And I would do that every single day. You know, I would get up in the morning and my wife would be gone for work and I would take my funnel and fill up all my little mini bottles. And then I had to take the bottle and then go hide that. And then I would take the mini bottles with me. And then when I walked in in the afternoon or at night from work, I would put those in my sock when I came inside the house. Um, same thing inside my pants, you know, like right here in the, where the belt is. You know, I'd slide, I could slide like a half pint in there and walk in the house and it wouldn't be found. Um... I've actually seen people with those, uh, like the tea bottles, like the, I don't, I don't know the company, what they're called, but you can get like the sweet tea in the little bottles. I've seen people actually pour bourbon in those before. Um, and there's a lot of other things out there too that, uh, you know, can be used. Um, I know that there's like some, a bunch of different kinds of hidden flasks and stuff that you can, uh, purchase online. There are, uh. You'd have to go on there and do a search for yourself. <clears throat> I don't know of, of a whole lot of them off the top of my head. I've just seen them before, <clears throat> especially in places like, you know, uh, stores that sell, like, novelties and stuff like that. But they have, uh, you know, like, hair brushes that are actually a flask, and it'll be, like, the round brush. And then at the top of it, it's got a cap that you can unscrew, and there's actually a flask inside of there. But they sell a lot of products like that that, uh, you know, have hidden flask inside of them. 
you know, that's another thing to look for. Uh, something that looks a little off and odd, you know, and then you see them carrying it around like you never see them carrying around a brush. Why do they have that brush on them? Um, that'd be something to look for. Um, one time we had gone, I was just, you know, I spoke about how we went to Disney World recently, uh, back in April, but um, we've gone multiple times. And back when I was a drinker, I actually one time had a uh, Sprite bottle, a 20 ounce Sprite bottle that I had um, poured out the Sprite and I had filled it completely all the way up with vodka and actually went into Disney World with a 20 ounce Sprite bottle of vodka and proceeded to get drunk in Disney World with that and got through security and everything with that bottle. No one even, I had it in my hand, walked right in, no one even paid the first bit of attention to it. Um, <clears throat> so these are just things that, um, you know, I just kind of thought of off the top of my head of, of stuff that I've done in the past. And uh, I'm sorry if I upset anybody making this video, but I just thought it was kind of important to do this, you know, if you're, you know, ha if you have a loved one and you suspect them of drinking, I mean, at some point you're, gonna, you know, if, 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 if you, if you suspect them of it, I mean, you want to know if that's what they're really doing. If they're telling you that they're stopping drinking, they, you know, they don't do it anymore. And then you suspect it, you smell it on them, you know, that's, you know, if they're lying to you, it's just, you know, it's, it's not okay. And at some point, you know, somebody's got to, somebody's got to tell the truth and uh you know I'm not suggesting that you go out there and search for this stuff and uh cause a fight because of it but for your peace of mind uh to know if that person is actually consuming alcohol or not if they're lying to you uh you might you might want to know the truth and these are just places that you could look um and once again I I apologize to anybody out there this might offend uh, like I said, I just think that this is just important to talk about because we all have done it. Um, I've done, I did it for years and, uh, I mean, it's unfortunate, but it is what happened and, uh, the alcohol just gets hold of you and you just can't stop. And instead of having an argument or fighting, you just hide it. And uh, that's just the, the disease that it is. It makes us that sick that we have to have our alcohol. So anyway, with that said, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Um, I hope this helps anybody out there. Uh, I wish everybody the best. Um, we got Christmas coming up. It's going to be right around the corner. So if any of you guys don't see any of these videos up until Christmas Day, hey, Merry Christmas to all of you. Um, I wish all of you a happy, merry holiday. Uh, everybody that's out there that's uh, struggling right now with sobriety, hey, I really wish you the best of luck through this holiday uh, season, this weekend. I know it's really tough, especially this time of year, because there's just alcohol everywhere. Every single commercial is alcohol. You know, you've got the commercials with them pouring the alcohol and the coffee in the morning and all this kind of stuff. I mean, it's just I am seeing alcohol ads like crazy right now. They're just all over the place, and it's just it's pushed so hard during this time of year. You know, it's drinking alcohol is associated with being jolly and Merry Christmas and all that stuff. And really, I know from personal experience, it doesn't make for a great holiday because you know all you do is end up getting trashed and saying something that you shouldn't have said or doing something you shouldn't have done and ended up pissing everybody off in the family and you know it just ends up being bad so i really wish wish all of you the best of luck and uh i hope that everybody can hang in there and make it through this holiday sober and dry without drinking so with that said guys have a great day i love all of you all thank you so much for all the great comments again you guys are so awesome and uh, this community is uh, just growing so large now and so quick. It's just amazing. So with that said, guys, have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.